Hello, Mary Me. So, I want to review a book, and it has an extremely funny title. It is called Pastel Spells. And I have to admit that I got this book just because of the title. It's just so cute. I had zero expectations of this book whatsoever. But I think I paid, I don't remember if it was five or six dollars for the book. So I thought that I can get it just because it's cute. But it's not that bad. It's basically exactly what you would expect. It's a lot of very simple, what many would call fluffy spells. But hey, I actually really like reading pre-made spells. You could say that with in the realm of occult books, that are my guilty pleasure. Just picking up books that has tons of spells and reading them sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. Just need a drink of water. My throat gets so dry sometimes that it's there. Uh... And before you wonder, yeah, I know I shouldn't drink straight from the bottle, but I'm the only one in the house other than the animals that drink water my husband prefers. Sodas and juice and such, so yeah. It is mine alone. So it's only my germs on it. But yeah. These spells are simple, but that doesn't mean that I cannot be effective. So, basically, here are the table of content. Romantic spells. Um... Uh, which then contain basically each section contains number of spells, sexual spells, anti-love spells, platonic love friendship spells for help with relationships. There's a lot of these here. For sour relationships, self-love, self-care, uh, self-care emotional, healing. And curses. So it's basically it focuses a lot on love spells, but there are some other spells in there as well. And I think the spells are okay. I mean, they're not the best I have read, but they're okay. Let's find one. Um, let's see. That one. Where are you? Fire element bath. A bath spell that uses the element and corresponds as a fire to heal and cleanse oneself emotionally. Gather. Anise. Cinnamon. Oranges. Red roses. <laughs> Fill a tub with your hot water. Be careful not to make it too hot for you. Mix ingredients into the tub. Light candles around the tub if you can. Allow the element of water to cleanse your old energies out and the elements of fire to give you new energy. Allow the heat to comfort and heal you as long as you need to. Fire is associated with candles and blades. If you shave, this is recommended time for it. Though you can use garnet and ruby stones in the ritual, do not put them in the water. The aluminium in them is harmful when in water. Keep them nearby if you like. So you can see it's it's very simplistic. It's it's very very simplistic. Here's another one. Let me just find one. Your spell for clarity. A simple springtime spell for emotional and mental clarity and wisdom. Gather raspberry, amethyst, bay leaf, sage, sunflower seeds, and or, uh, petals. In a bowl, crush the raspberry, soak the opening of the jar in the juice, fill the jar with dry bay leaf, sage, and sunflower seeds. Seal the jar carefully with wax of the color most calming to you. Charge with amethyst as needed. Shake to invoke. So basically, 
in many ways you can see that they are very simplistic and some of them lack a little bit of what should I say explanation about what you should do you can, you can imagine what you should do with them but often it would be nice to for example include if you're going to have a bath ritual like the one I mentioned uh, how you should soak the herbs into the water should you use them fresh or should you use them dried I for example would have said that okay uh, either you make an infusion using fresh herbs or you can add dry herbs to the water itself or if you want to avoid having herbs all over your bathtub add them into a linen sachet and put that in the water so it is very simplistically written it lacks a few of those details but you get enough information to work the spells just for an example let's have another one amethyst empowerment spell a spell to bring about self-empowerment gather testicle amethyst Castorilla powder. Prepare the castorilla powder. Grind up the turtle and mix it in. Create a circle with the powder. Charge the amethyst within the circle. Take it and the comfort of the ring with you wherever you go. What ring? The ring in the movie? Probably not. But as you can see, the spells uses some simple correspondences. But they lack a little bit of explanation. But if you are somewhat used to spellcrafting, you can easily basically just figure out the missing parts for yourself. For example, what, what you should do with herbs when you're adding them to the bath water. The problem with this, of course, is that this is definitely spells that would be most interesting for the beginner. But with a lack of explanations, there it might be harder for the uh, beginner to use this. There is a um, name of the author, Rose uh, Oculum. I suspect that might be a pen name, but there isn't any form of um, publishing house on this, and it's also look a bit strange at times so oops so uh, I suspect this is self-published and I mean you get what you pay for it I don't remember if it was five or six dollars I paid for this book but there are quite a few spells in there it's a nice enough read um, though of course it, it's pretty quick I think I Use two or three hours to read through the book. And yeah, I have spent uh, $5 for worse entertainment for two hours than that book. Is it perfect? Not by any means. And it's rough. A lot of these books that are self published are very rough. It is very clear that here you have a woman that has taken her personal spell book and just published it so so yeah it's rough around the edges i would have liked more explanations for the spell more times to add in the details and there's so many love spells compared to anything else that might be useful but all in all i mean for the price this is decent if this had been a 19 dollar book i would have said by all, you should not get this. There, there is absolutely no point in getting this. But for the price I ask for this on Amazon, if you are like me and you really like reading pre-made spells, you could spend five dollars on worse things. And that is my review of Pastel Spells by Rose Oculum. Hope you have enjoyed this review. Have a great day. And blessed be.